Bees are my absolute passion. I've been studying them for 30 years. Um, I'm a trained entomologist, but as soon as I learned about honeybees, I was addicted and just had to keep studying them and I'm always learning new things. And they do things that surprise me, like make honey from spotted lanternfly excrement. Spotted lanternflies were brought to Pennsylvania, you know, in 2014. And the government quickly was trying to control them. And so I was brought in to see if the control measures for lanternflies were hurting pollinators because they noticed bees visiting the trees where the lanternflies were. Beekeepers started to notice this strange honey coming into their hives at a time when it's normally what's called a dearth, which is when there's like not really any flowers to be foraging on. Um, but their bees were making honey and the flavor and the odor was quite unique and that nobody could tell which floral nectar source it was. It was unfamiliar. Lanternflies are phloem feeders. So that's the, the liquid in the plant that's full of sugar from photosynthesis. The lanternflies tap right into that. So basically it's like if you were drinking soda all day, you would be going to the bathroom all day because you're getting too much liquid. And for lanternflies, they don't need all that water, they don't need all that sugar, but they can filter out what they need and the rest comes out their back end. So really it's their excrement, but it's not really full of toxins and waste the way you think of excrement, it's just all the excess water and sugar. And they, um, they're letting this go like every minute. So it's barely inside of them. They just filter out what they need and shunt it out the back end. And then it's all over the trunks of trees, leaves of things underneath. And if the honeybees don't come and collect it, it'll grow mold. It doesn't grow mold when the bees take it back to the hive because they concentrate it down into honey where, you know, mold can't grow. Honeybees make this honey uh, late in the season, so August and September, in places where lanternflies are abundant which is ever-changing and it has a smoky smell uh, and a very unique flavor with a long aftertaste. People say they taste hints of molasses, you smell hints of smoke, people think automatically of bacon or maple syrup, which are not usually terms that you hear describing honey. What's exciting about this honey is I'm doing some research with some collaborators in Texas and they are testing this for the medicinal properties and we're comparing it to Manuka, which is your gold standard for medical grade honey. And this is beating Manuka in some of those tests. Now, I haven't published this yet, but we're in the process of writing and uh, we're very excited about it because it would be really great to have, you know, US beekeepers being able to make a medical grade honey and get top dollar. Um, for wound healing and sore throats and cough and uh, there's a doctor interested in testing it for helping kids heal after they get their tonsils out. What a nice natural way of, of healing. So we think it looks really promising and exciting.